Okay, let's look at post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a mental condition that's triggered by a terrifying event, either experiencing it or witnessing it. Symptoms may include flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety, as well as uncontrollable thoughts about the event. This is Community Activate Mental Cinemas. Welcome. In this series, we're going to attempt to match fictional characters with very real mental conditions. The mission is not to exploit the afflicted, but to bring a level of awareness, understanding, and compassion. In this episode, let's look at the 1995 film Dead Presidents. And the character in question is Lorenz Tate's Anthony. Clean up time, cowboy. Here are five signs Anthony had post-traumatic stress disorder. He had recurring nightmares. It's all right. Come here. Just another dream. Wow. People with this condition are known to be terrorized by nightmares and flashbacks that are vivid and realistic. You can see by his reaction, this guy is in a bad place. And this girl is saying it's just another dream. So you can tell that this is not the first time that this happens often, unfortunately. He avoided talking about the war. Well, what'd you do over there? What was it like? I'd rather not talk about that right now. Okay, right here we see that he doesn't want to talk about anything that has to do with the war. We can see that throughout the film. He rarely mentions anything about the war, especially the traumatic experience that he had. Maybe by talking about it, it might trigger a flashback, which is the last thing that he would want. He had trouble sleeping. He's issued an all points bulletin for the remaining on Noble Street. Faces painted skeleton white. Five federal security Cause she's already gone. Yeah, this guy got it bad. This is right after he robbed the bank, but his mind can't process what's going on now because of the flashbacks of the trauma that he endured uh, back in Vietnam during the war. Who can sleep with these voices in their head? His stomach must be in knots. He became more and more aggressive Right here, your boy was kind of tripping. The stresses of everyday life started getting to him. Under normal circumstances, he might not have reacted like this, but having PTSD, that's not normal circumstances. And people with this condition can sometimes get really aggressive. He developed self-destructive behaviors. Then can you will yourself a better job? Can you will yourself to stop drinking so much? Well, people with PTSD can sometimes engage in self-destructive behavior, such as deliberate self-harm, drug misuse, and even suicide. In Anthony's case, he used drinking and smoking to ease his pain. PTSD can be caused by combat exposure. Shell shock or battle fatigue syndrome were terms used to describe a person, a soldier returning from war with the same symptoms as PTSD. So it's pretty common for somebody returning from war to have these symptoms and be in the condition that Anthony was in. Complications of post-traumatic stress disorder include some of the following. Depression. Anxiety. Relationship difficulties and drug and alcohol abuse. So let's look at this. Anthony signs up for the military after high school as a way to get out of the Bronx and build a life for himself, but ends up back in the Bronx in worse condition. Could that condition have affected his decision making and ultimately lead to his demise? Or was he just another cat trying to be slick for a quick buck? Let me know in the comments below. Diagnose Anthony. 
If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe for more like it. And check in every Sunday evening for a new one. Thanks for watching. This is Kino from Community Activate Mental Cinemas. Be well.